with all due respect, Bernard, if, if you, as Santa Claus, came down my chimney, I'd worry a little. <laughs> I might stay. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to borrow the hat? No, thank you. No, thank you. Can we, we'll put it over here safely. Would you like us to keep it? No, we'll just try it on the counter here. Okay. Uh, the season of the year. I'm planning something for you tonight yes. that will absolutely eclipse every maitre d' you've ever had to tolerate in your life. Right. You've taken the lady out, you're seated in the restaurant, and he upstages you for the entire evening. The moment she asks for a special dessert, in he comes, madame, and does the number, you see. And there you right. are thinking, Whatever happened to my machismo? All of a sudden, she's going to him. Oh, isn't he divine? Isn't he gorgeous? Mm. Here's your chance. Right. Straubs. Yeah. Crepes. A Suzette. Just in case you're having a party, we did happen to discover a little ham. Oh, lovely. And we yes. did discover a little gateau. But we might light the candle to that as we go along. Right. OK. Now, here you are in the privacy of your own home. Mm -hmm. Comes the moment for that luscious dessert. And this is especially luscious. Warm pan, just around about there. Pat of butter. This has no nonsense to it whatsoever. This is the epitome of simplicity. <laughs> Straubs. You always talk like you're making love to your food. Oh, but that's what we do, isn't it? Yes. I don't know. Now, the purpose is not to cook the strawberries at all, just to warm them through. By this time, the maitre d' would have squeezed lemon, he'd have browned sugar, he'd have squeezed orange, he'd have taken 55 liqueurs with extreme unction and right. splash them yes. aboard, <laughs> but not you. Right. You are going to then reach for a little old-fashioned thing that everybody who's anybody knows, a touch of Grand Marnier. Not... <laughs> They're complaining already? No, 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 no. Just mm. I want to see these strawberries get up and walk out. <laughs> <laughs> they will. And then for that, that air of glamour... Oh, you're going to do this? I love this. When they do this in restaurants, it's my favourite thing. As soon as we oh, have the is. alcohol, they... Uh, now, that's her opportunity to step forward to you and say, Oh, Don, my dress is on fire. No. <laughs> Especially with the synthetic. Oh, sorry, did I blame her? Oh, no, I did not. Oh, she's going to say, Don, yes. I'm wearing a fire force at Major's wig and it's just caught a light. <laughs> yes, right, yes, and it is slowly gluing itself to my scalp. <laughs> or, or she's wearing one of those lovely, fluffy Osti dresses, you know, yes. cut low here with all the fluff and feather here, and suddenly it's, it's gripped to the skin and you have to go to the plastic surgeon for the right, wig yes, instead. Right, yes. Now, at this uh, point, we can turn off... I often wonder, why do you light the, uh, the, uh, the, the brandy and... Uh... We're burning off the alcohol, just in case she's a non-drinker. Right. So this is a... <laughs> God knows what she would do if she were a drinker. Yes, this... <laughs> She'd be a this... fire eater, right? <laughs> this is a confection designed really for people like yourself who are excited about the good taste, but not really enthusiastic about the results of alcohol. Oh. That's the only serious note this program shall have this evening. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity of quick depilatory if you feel the need, you know. That right, yes. You can do so that kind of thing. Some of the hairs are off. Now, yes, at right. that moment there, as right. soon as the flame starts to die down, a little splash of cream. There we are. Now, obviously, I've cooked enough here because I did detect a slight groan of hunger from your crew as I walked through. Yes. The moment yes. we brought either out... That, either that or passion. Depends what's going on back there. Well, in some cases, I'm pleased to say, for me, it was passion. I'm delighted yes. about that. And I plan to join heartily with them all. Yes. So there's, now, just swimming with the little cream, the Grand Marnier. Now, that's the total job done in one single stroke. Now, the crepes, any sensible bachelor, has another girlfriend who makes the crepes, if she's an expert. Can you freeze those crepes? Oh, yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Or you can buy them in a plastic bag at a supermarket. You know, right. Well, that's but, good. That's just as good. By the time I've done what I do to them, yeah, <laughs> God, you know. I think if you really, if you're sitting there with a girl and you set fire to the strawberries, that'd be enough. She'd think it was wonderful. You'd just you'd say, oh, look at that. Yes. You see? I think see how simple it is? Can I borrow your dinner suit? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I shall speak to my designer about it. I'm sure that even he could create something for a frame like yours. Oh, <laughs> a lot more fabric will be necessary. What do you get for Bernard of Marubra? Marubra! I don't think there's anyone at Marubra. They might be watching, but there's no one there who dresses at all. There we are. So this is the kiwi fruit that the uh, Carl oh, Leachman was talking Just about. a little token garnish there. Right. Now, Purely because they're very rich in proteins and vitamins. You're going to set fire to that again? Not to that, no, oh. just to this, because this is your birthday. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Before you do that, I want to introduce you my, my official taster for the evening. I have an official taster. You're like a pharaoh. Yes, I have See an official taster. See how carefully taster. I said it. it he's, he, he sets things alight, but he does it more in a cricket pitch. Would you please welcome on the one of us on the cricket pitch? One of Australia's what are you most... trying to do? Mix the cook with an athlete? Oh, he's fantastic, this guy. <laughs> a great taster, too. One of the greatest uh, cricketers in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dennis Lilly. Yeah. <laughs> Let 
let me let me hold on to this before. Do you know Bernard King? We we met in the dressing yes, room. Yes, in whose room. dressing room? <laughs> <laughs> he was checking his wickets, ready for the game this evening. Oh, oh that's a don't tell no me ball. that's a plastic bat. Aluminium, Bernard. You should know that. I thought, oh, that's uh, what they were talking about. They said well, everybody. Thought, uh, oh, yeah. you know, being an American, you probably wouldn't know much about cricket, so I thought I'd bring a bat. And I've also bought a uh, strip film on how to play cricket for you. Is so, that right? You're a right. A strip film on well, how to, to play, play cricket, cricket with Dennis Lilly, Rod Marsh, and Bruce Laird. Written in. Oh, it's a film, isn't it? Excuse me, I'll read the small print. Yes? <laughs> it's definitely a strip film. I think this is a, <laughs> an R certificate cricket game you have here. Yeah. This is the new gear you're going to be wearing for the year, huh? Well, this, this is season a for cricket. Track suit. Yeah. Um, the coloured gear will be similar. Uh, but not the same. But this is a tracksuit which I think is available for everyone. Anyone? Oh, so right. cricket in bat? No, no. no, just, no this, this is just, just the, the casual gear. They have the new outfits now that they're wearing that all the countries wear, and I saw it in one of the commercials, and they are quite lovely. Really, really nice. Bad enough great, to play at the night game. without losing tradition altogether. Mm. When I'm is sorry, tea man. served? I'm sorry. Not in that. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a taste. I want to see the taste. Yes, yes, yes. Have a taste. A cricketer. Taste it. I better ask the coach first of all. Now, have us. Thank God he's travelled. I was going for more. You. I can only have one, can I? Tasters take small amounts, in case they die instantaneously. Do I have to say it's good? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say anything you can't Magnificent. Play, can I have son. another one? <laughs> Is it really good? Let me try one. I haven't even... Uh, I'll do mm. my fingers. It's better than one. Of course, your fingers are quite sterile. What's the matter? Aren't I allowed to try anything? It's his food. He can eat it how he likes. Magnificent. Ooh. Oh, I told you. you yes, see. very nice. Why don't you serve that instead of tea? <laughs> <laughs> when, does, when does it all start? When does it all kick off? Though? Well, uh, the season has started, but we have a game tomorrow against uh, Victoria. Of cricket? And, of cricket. Yeah. And, uh, it's one eye, isn't it? <laughs> 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 and then uh, the season, the test season, gets underway not long after that. So there's one day internationals and uh, big test cricket. And uh, of course, all covered on Channel 9. All I know. Yeah. What is this? I saw a picture of you. Wait a minute. I saw a picture of him, front page of all the newspapers, with a pop group, with Kiss. Yeah, with Kiss, that's right. Uh, in fact, we came, with across with Kiss, Kiss on, <laughs> we came across with Kiss on the flight over. Oh. And, uh, he asked for an Ace, autograph, and they said, can we have a picture? <laughs> Ace uh, got done out of a bit of money uh, in a card game with one of the guys. He picked on the uh, luckiest guy in the team and uh, lost a couple hundred bucks. One of the blokes from your team. Kiss lost money to your team. Right. Well, they can but, afford but then, it. They're 117 then, million a year or something. That's right. He got a bit dirty after that. It was 50 bucks a time, and then he said, let's put it up to a thousand. And how could I just. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Bernard, thank you very much. Happy pleasure. Birthday. I hope I see you in the new year and have a lovely time. Thank you for the happy birthday greetings. Got a couple of rap prezies, too. Okay, we'll get them. We'll pick Much them up. Much more later. useful than a cricket bat. My thank you yeah, for man. that. I'm going to try to I'll see, if I can, see if I can make this thing work, maybe. <laughs> and I'll have a look at this, too. Cricket's on nine. It's going to be bigger and better than ever. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Dennis, Bernard, Ciao. A pleasure. Happy birthday. Okay, mate. Our pleasure. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the beautiful and unpredictable star of Superman 2, Sarah Douglas. Where do you meet this lady? Hang in there.